Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I am comparing Notion to a new app called AnyType, which I have done several videos of, and we are going to see whether or not or which app is right for you and how they compare to each other. So this is Notion and inside of Notion everything is a block. It is a block based app and you have databases. So most of Notion revolves around databases. Uh, so every time you write a task you get a database with different properties. So let's just say test and as soon as I have written this, you can see that it has a few properties. You can also set up formulas inside of Notion. If I, for example, wanted a recurring task, I could use the formula to change this. So let's say this is actually a formula here. So you have formulas inside of Notion, but most of Notion revolves around databases. If you are not going to use databases, Notion probably isn't worth it. There are a lot of different and better apps out there for just simple note-taking. Notion is mostly known for its database functionality as well as a lot of integrations with different apps like something like Snipped or Readwise as well where you can just add different things inside of it without doing any manual work. So I have done that with something uh, uh, like Snipped. I have used my podcast listener to send notes into my uh, Notion. I'm actually not using Notion anymore. I'm not using any type either, but Notion is probably one of the best apps out there for both project management and personal life management, especially if you like databases. You can build your whole entire workflow. It has a learning curve to it, but with the amount of YouTube videos out there, you can easily learn Notion. So all of this took me around four or five hours to set up while watching Thomas Frank explains and learning how to use Notion. So that's Notion for you. Then we have AnyType and inside of this AnyType dashboard there isn't much because I made the new space because I'm planning to do a lot of YouTube videos on AnyType in the future. But AnyType works quite similarly to Notion. So you have databases here as well, but they are called sets and you have properties as well. They are called relations. So there is a difference here. You can add a new relation and even create your own relation. So let's just call this one test. As you can see, I can create the relation test and I can choose what kind of relation it is. You can add the due date, for example and change that. Another thing that um, um, that AnyType doesn't have is calendar functionality, but I will guess that the calendar functionality will probably come uh, just because it is something the app should have. Overall, I would say that Notion is a lot more polished. You can do many of the same things inside of Notions as you can do inside of any type, but any type has a couple things that you can't do inside Notion. First of all, it is a lot more private, so think of it as a Obsidian version of Notion. All of your uh, files are locally stored in uh, tiny markdown files, which is a lot better for privacy, but you also have to back up your notes inside of Notion. Everything is in the server, which both uh, has a privacy concern as well as it makes the app really slow. The mobile app on any type is a lot better than Notion. I don't like the Notion mobile app. It isn't a native mobile app. And the last thing that uh, that uh, any type has that Notion does not is that you can actually uh, link different things together. So you have backlinking functionality with a graph. So this is my graph and you can see everything inside of your graph. I've loved the graph view ever since I found it. I rarely use it to find anything, but it just looks cool. 
But backlinking is something I like a lot because our brains don't take think in pages or folders. We think in different type of relations. So who is the author of this book, for example, or this idea is connected to another idea. So if you catch one of the things, you will find all the other things. That's how our brain works. Our brain works more like this graph than in pages or folders. But I would say that if privacy isn't a concern for you right now, I would stick with Notion. But if it is, if you think that privacy is really important and you have been thinking about changing apps because of the privacy aspect, I would recommend going to AnyType. Remember that AnyType is a lot newer than Notion. It still needs some time to develop. I think the team has done a good job so far, but overall there is a risk with trying out new kinds of note-taking apps, and that is that they might not be around in a couple of years. But on the other hand, any type has ev or any type saves everything as a markdown file inside of your computer, so you can easily transfer it to any other app. I could put the files into Obsidian. I could put the files into Logsec. It is easy to transfer markdown files to another note-taking app. Meanwhile, Notion's uh, markdown export isn't too good. So that's simply the differences and similarities between Notion and any type. You just have to pick the one that resonates the most with you. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, and I hope to see you again quite soon.